I've just put some dowels in the end. Try to make them even. And like I said about the nails, don't put them in a line because the wood might end up splitting as this gets pulled in years to come. Just adds a little bit of strength. Didn't put them all the way through, but I made sure that there was a timber at the other side as I was hammering them through so it wouldn't break through. I've just filled all these. It's pissing it down today, so I'm going to give this a coat of paint. I've got to decide. This stuff, interior, exterior, primer. That stuff's a bit much in there. But I've got some Zinsa stuff here, stain killer. So that'll cover up any knots. Did mean to put these in the back, but I forgot. Got carried away. Just sanded them off. Turn it over, tidy the other side up, and give it some paint. I filled the screw holes all around here. Ran out of filler. So I'm onto the body filler now. It's cheaper actually, that stuff. Now I'm going to use this one the Zinsa Stain Killer. This is the soap and water clean up so I'm going to thin it down with a bit of water so that I can spray it going back to the a and I, the 2.5 nozzle it's quite thick this is just water it's my water can that lives in the shed
That's just a rough cut. But imagine if you had to do that by hand. I uh, sanded it off with 120. And one of these, one of these old ones that I cut in half for getting into little corners. I'm going to give it a second coat. It's been about 40 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. Most of it's pretty dry. That's one coat. Giving it a quick sand with 180. It's not all dry completely, but it's 10 o'clock at night, so I'm going to stick another coat on.
right see if we can get this gate on I need to check the measurement yeah I ain't even measured the gate since I worked it out. Yeah, that'll do. Right, that's better. Better get on in first. Right, I might have mentioned these gates are undersized. I couldn't get bigger ones that were treated and the treated ones that I could get were sawn and rough sawn they were I didn't want to put untreated wood in oak was expensive and that's not locally available either steel maybe but that's not cheap either I'd about to pay somebody to weld a cap on the top my welder's not really up to that so what I might end up doing just putting a tie back here, a bit of threaded bar and some brackets, just to hold that back. And I missed a bit of filler. Could do with a little bit in there as well. I'll touch that up later. But it does fit with a generous 10mm gap down either side. Right. What I did is I put the hinges on first and pack that end up with that and this end I use two pieces of 2x1 if I can what I did was put my chisel in like that and that way I can slide my chisel in and out just to raise and lower that so what I did was put the, get it spaced something like at the bottom, put that first foot on, there's another one to go on top of there, put that first foot on, then I, slide, then I slid that chisel backwards and forwards and it raised and lowered that which pushes that out like that. So I've got the gap something like at the top. That post is holding all right at the moment, but I'll get some more screws in it. And we'll see what it's like. And that post is holding all right at the moment, but in time it'll start sagging a little bit. The wood will relax, then it'll start banging up there. So I'm just going to put that tie back. I could maybe put a bracket back to the wall, but I want it at the top early, and it'll be hidden by all this. I put the rest of the screws in <coughs> down there. I can't remember if I've got any coach bolts. I'll have a rummage through the van. A bit close to the edge, but you can see my gap's a bit more than the 10 mil. I don't mind that too much. But the gap's somewhat like parallel. I rushed the paint last night, so I could do with sanding off. And down here, you see the warp boards. So I'm going to run a bit of cork around there and I brought the paint with me so I'll blather that I'll blather all these sort of bottom areas a bit more paint and we've just got a standard latch to go on the top thumb latch I put panhead screws in here I don't carry black screws same with these these are gold so Easiest thing to do. Got a bit of paper here. Fold it several times. I just bit off that corner. My, my teeth aren't very good anymore. Make a neater hole in that. Get a tin of spray paint and just blow over that with a bit of spray paint. Oh, of course, you just get a little brush. 
I'll buy some black screws. Uh, put a bit of sealant around the bottom edge there. And that bottom rail could do with a, a chamfer on it, help the watershed. Fingernails are useful. Uh, I've got a couple of coach bolts to go through here. These have got a square hole for the for the end of the coach bolts, but I don't want a nut on the outside. You know, this is the inside. I don't want a nut sticking out of there, so I'm going to put them through this way. They're a bit size, but I'll just whip the end off with angle grinder. I'm going to do is drill a hole, a small hole, and then I'll drill. This is a 10mm brad point, but I'll drill from both sides, then I'll get a neat hole. Right, coach bolts are in. Just need to whip them off with angle grinder. Give it a bit of paint where I put that cork on yesterday. I put two, two strips on. Two stopping strips, whatever you want to call them. Painted the back of these bits of wood before I put them on. Could have left that square, but I want the water to run off. Yeah, alright, once it's painted. Bit more paint on these because these are untreated. Got one of these, a box cordless angle grinder. Brilliant. A lot better than I expected. I've got a 2mm cutting disc in it. Gets rid of the sharp edges and helps to stop it coming off. Right, that's it. These have got one coat of paint. I hate painting, so. Got it all over my fingers, look. I hate painting my hand. If I can't spray it, I don't paint it. Somebody else can paint around the hinges. Here's a picture of what I sent to my customers. It's not a bad match.